hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is taylor simbi and if you're new you're welcome and if you're already a subscriber thank you so much for coming back you are the best so in today's video i'm going to show you how to ventilate this t frontal right here in my previous video i showed you how to prepare your frontals uh how to sew on the wig cap so in today's video i'm going to show you how to ventilate this i did say that i was going to do part one to four and i was going to show you how to ventilate all the frontals that i met in my previous video so just in case you have seen it uh do go and check it out so that you can get a better understanding and i also showed out to draw uh to draw a hairline right there in the video so it's linked in the description so right here i'm going to be using this afro 19 inch wig i've used this wig before on my channel uh on my first youtube video yeah so today i'm going to use that same wig and i'm going to be using uh in color black color number one so right here i'm going to um the, I, I used one and a half of the bundles they were six and each bundle was 40 inches so 40 inches right here plus half which is 20 so 60 inches of here so right here I'm going to be cutting off uh, the weft right here to prepare the hair that I want to use to ventilate so just cut off the weft like that then you have to pull out the little hairs in there and you'll be left with the long ones only right there so this is how the hair is looking like uh after that and this is how the uh we cap looked like before i ventilated uh do go and check it out guys do go and check it out so right here i'm going to put a white paper underneath so that you can see what i'm doing so right here guys this part that is sewn it's hard to get like uh a straight horizontal line so i'm going to turn my mannequin like that then go to the back right there where it's sewn and measure from the part that is sewn um going in measure half an inch or about quarter of an inch because we want to ventilate uh on the less that is um straight so that it will be easy for you to ventilate a straight horizontal line right there then after ventilating right here a uh, quarter of an inch i'm going to flip the hair and um it will go to the back guys this is a tip that i'm giving you guys sometimes when you uh when you watch this video uh for already ventilated that like the back part but this is how i do it i ventilate an inch not an inch a quarter of an inch right here at the back so that i can get my pattern in order i can get the pattern that i want and everything it will be uniformed rather than when you start from the part that is sewn the lines are not straight so if you are doing it on a frontal that is not already sewn on your wig cap you can ventilate starting from where your frontal is at the back but if you're doing it on the front or that is already sewn on your wake up you have to use this method and uh when you ventilate your hair your pattern will be like it will be easy for you to do your patterns it will be like simple simple rather than when you start to do it from the part that is sewn so i will show you how to do it uh on a frontal that is not sewn on your wig cap that's where you have to start ventilating from like where your frontal is starting there's no need to uh to do this method but if you are doing it on your wig cap then you have to do this method guys do try it out and if you're already using this guys you can be a witness to this it works so uh the two part one and part two of front of ventilation i will show you on the wig cap in part three and part four i will show you how to ventilate the frontal uh without sewing it on the wig cap so guys please do subscribe so this is how it's looking just flip it then we can start ventilating uh when the hair is flipped from the back to the front to the hairline so right here i'm ventilating one wall and skipping one wall ventilate one wall and skipping one wall and i'm ventilating ventilating on all the lines guys all the lines i'm going to use this frontal this t frontal to make a hair wig so if you are making a hair wig uh, whether it's a closure or a frontal you have to ventilate all the lines uh the thing that you will be skipping is the box so you'll be skipping one hole one hole one hole but you will be ventilating all the lines so here we ventilate all the lines for the braided wigs that is uh what you'll be skipping lines but for this one uh tip for hair wigs ventilate all the lines 
uh, and skip only holes, only those small holes. So ventilate one wall, skip one wall, ventilate one wall, skip one wall, and we are going to ventilate all the vertical lines, all the vertical lines. And right here, the method that I'm using, I'm using a um, a wall so i'm uh, ventilating horizontally guys yeah I've, I've done this before when i did a four by four three-way closure i showed you uh three ways three patterns of ventilating this vertical this horizontal this slanted so just in case you haven't watched it i'm also going to link that video in the description uh so that you can go and check it out so i'm just going to continue ventilating from the back uh all the way to the front so right here the idea that is going to cover the back i'm going to do one and a half inches then i will start uh uh, I will skip one line for the middle parting because I'm going this is a T frontal so it has a fixed parting so I'm going to skip one line for the parting and this uh, frontal is 5 by 11 and a half so my parting is going to be three and a half and the hair that is going to cover the back is going to be one and a half making it five inches from the back to the front so guys if you have any questions like if you don't understand you can ask me in the comment section if you have any questions so yeah right here i'm ventilating one side like i will show you right here i'm going to skip one line so this is one side of the front door that i'm going to ventilate i'm going to ventilate it all the way to the front then i will ventilate also the other side so i'm just finishing off right here the hair that will cover the back then we'll go to ventilate uh the hair like uh when you do your parting you have to skip only one line do not skip two do not skip three it will be too much space so you have to skip only one line for your patterns whether you're doing a closure uh or t frontal if you are making a frontal uh there's no need to like um skip lines a frontal that is like a full frontal there's no need for that because you open your parting anywhere that you want your parting to be but if it's a closure or a t frontal where you need a fixed parting then you have to skip only one line for your parting so this is the other side that i'm ventilating from one side of, uh, up until to the part that i want to do the parting so ventilate ventilate and also ventilate the other side make sure you skip that one line that uh three and a half inches and the one and a half is going to cover the back so making it five so right here i'm still picking two strands of here ventilating one wall skipping one wall ventilating one wall skipping one wall do not pick here that is more than two strands guys only two strands at the back and at the front only one only one guys and please watch guys i'm going to show you something uh that you a tip that you have to know when you're ventilating um on your hairline and also right here i'm using afro here and i'll also show you like uh guys keep watching <laughs> keep watching if you want to hear the tips guys keep watching guys so guys the other thing that contributes when you're ventilating like if you want to have a nice uh frontal or, or, or a closure you have to know the type of hair that you are using when you're buying your hair make sure that the strands of the hair they are thin they are thin and soft do not buy strands that are thick and soft when you tie the knot it will be it will loosen up like when you tie the knot the the hair is too big and soft it will not tie a knot like it will not it will not be tight no matter how good you are at ventilating the end result will be bad it will loosen up and it won't look good so make sure that when you buy your hair the strands of the hair they are thin very 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 thin and soft do not buy hair that is thick and soft like sometimes um i did struggle with the hair like when i started ventilating i was like ah, i don't know how to get this thing i don't know how to do this thing but there was one time that i bought uh a weave that was thin and uh the result the result was really good then i used that thick hair again and I, and I asked myself like last time i did it better why is it like this then i discovered that oh the hair contributes to how your closure or frontal will look like at the ends so make sure that you use uh hair that will be good like thin and soft thin and soft not thick and soft yeah so guys that is the parting right there 
and i also ventilated from uh, the middle part to the ear because i wanted to do the same pattern all the way like if you start from the middle make sure it's middle to the ear if you start from the ear make sure it's the ear to the other ear so that you get your pattern like here i'm ventilating all the lines so it doesn't matter where you st uh if you start from the ear to the ear or to the middle to the ear then middle to the ear but if you're skipping lines uh you have to start from the middle to the ear that one we talk about it when you're doing uh, a close a frost down that will be skipping lines so let's focus on this one right here ventilating on the ear part from the ear all the way to the middle so i'm still picking two strands of here and skipping one hole like that then at the front at the hairline we'll be skipping we'll be doing the same pattern like skipping one more ventilating one more but i'm going to be picking only one strand of hair so guys this right here i'm going to be picking one strand of hair like three quarters of an inch right here because this year is afro and it's bulky so if you like um like what i usually do i pick one strand from uh like the remaining half an inch that's what i do when i use straight hair so this is afro hair you have to like start it uh start picking one strand of hair like an inch before or three quarters of an inch before the hairline so that it won't look thick it will look natural so remember that guys when you're using straight hair uh you have to um, like uh, start picking one strand from half an inch before the hairline if it's afro here you have to start picking one strand from three quarters or one an inch before the hairline so that you get that natural look on your hairline right here i'm ventilating one hole skipping one wall and i'm picking only one strand of hair one strand of hair right here up until i reach the hairline I'm only picking one because I want it to look natural and this is afro here it looks bulky so that's why I started ventilating one strand of hair on this point but at the end you'll see that uh, it will look natural it won't look like there is uh, less hair the hair will be full enough so guys just keep watching guys there's more guys um right here make sure that your caves the cave from the middle part and the side part they are in the same line the only part that should be in is where your caves are joining so make sure that it's on the same line and when you cut your lace uh it won't be like uh the other side is going too much outside the other side is going inside no it should be the straight uh, same lines the only part that should be in is is where uh, your caves are connected like that guys so right here you can ventilate uh, the hairline and then um, put it uh, on the front then fill in the part that is left right there guys I don't know what I was doing right here my door was my mannequin was like uh, far at the back but I'm going to show you again right here ventilate the hairline like that then you can then flip the hair and fill in the space that you left in here uh, or you can ventilate like uh, vertically starting from the back to the front skipping one more skipping one more following the lines uh, the line of your hairline that we marked previously on my uh, other video so just filling the space like that or you can do it vertically up until you reach uh, the hairline so all that I'm going to show you uh, so keep watching guys keep watching and if you have watched to this point and you haven't subscribed yet guys what are you waiting for guys subscribe subscribe guys so that you can see part two part three and part four of frontal ventilation guys make sure you subscribe make sure you like make sure you share make sure you comment if you have any questions you can ask i will reply you in the comment section so keep watching so this is the middle part i ventilated from the ear to the middle and this is how it's looking uh still picking one strand on the hairline and remember that one line that we said we're going to skip uh on uh for our parting so this is the ear part this is how it's looking i ventilated all the way to the ear like 
all the way and remember we have to leave um one and a half to two inches for the ear pad so that when you wear your wig it will lay flat guys i said this in my previous video uh when i showed you how to make the wig cap so if you haven't watched it guys do go and check it out uh you might find something helpful right there that you will like that you will uh learn from that video so do go and check it out so that you can bet uh you can get a better understanding of this tutorial right here so i'm just repeating uh repeating <laughs> i'm just repeating the same process that i was doing on the other side uh from like uh three quarters of an inch i'll start ventilating one strand up until the hairline the other parts at the back i ventilated only two strands two strands two strands not more than that uh when you ventilate more than uh two strands the knots will be visible like they will be too visible and you have to ventilate only two strands right here and at the hairline only one strand so that the knots won't be showing it will be really natural and beautiful so guys i'm just going to keep ventilating and right here is the other side uh, of the ear and i'm picking one strand right here guys you can see how natural it's looking it's not bulky it's not bulky uh it's looking natural there's no need to pluck like this is the advantage when you make your own frontals you will customize it according to your own liking if you want it to be full you can ventilate more here if you want it to be like um less full like more natural you can ventilate uh less here and uh you won't be going in to plug or something like that because it is like ready to wear there's no other work you have to do after ventilation so guys this is how it's looking i'm just going to remove the paper right here and this is how it's looking guys this is how it's looking do let me know what you think about this guys did you learn something uh do let me know what you think about this video and the parting is right here so this here looks bulky right now but i'm going to make a wig and i'll also be dropping that video uh after the part two three and four of the front of ventilation i'll be dropping a video and i will show you uh how to make it look uh less bulky and how to activate uh those little curls that it had uh it's afro but it has like curls in it so i'll also show you how to get those curls back guys and this is how it's looking guys look at that hairline look at that ear part guys let me know what you think about this so when I did the hairline, I used concealer to mark uh, the hairline and I'm going to remove it with uh, makeup remover. So if you use concealer, use makeup remover to remove. If you use fabric marker, then you use no polish to rem uh, no polish remover to remove it and it will uh, be clean. Uh, and guys, if you are new, please don't forget to subscribe guys. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to watch this tutorial. Make sure you keep coming back so that you can watch part 2, part 3 and part 4 guys. I will keep telling you the tips. I will keep telling you the tricks. I will keep sharing what I know guys with you guys. I will keep sharing everything guys. And please do share with your friends, with your family guys. They need to see this guys. Uh, they need to watch this so that they can make their own frontals like it will be affordable that way and they can customize it to however way they want it to be so yeah guys if you're going to try this out do let me know in the comment section and please don't forget to drop a comment in the comment section guys if you have any question do say i will answer you guys look at how it's looking right here on my hand yeah uh, just imagine if it's uh on the head guys it's really melting like it's blending with the skin guys this is beautiful guys do let me know what you think about this thank you so much for watching guys i will see you in part two three and four guys thank you goodbye